Hey guys, Alice here, and welcome to another A to Z of Nations. This time it's A, but it's not going to be the best possible because if I'm doing England, it's there's there's lots of informs, the players are quite expensive, and also there's lots of lots of legends. So I decided, you know what? Let's do something different, and we're going to make a silver team this time. And there's only one inform, but this is my opinion of the best silver team, silver English team there is. And mostly, I'm guessing it's all. Put BPL, but there is some plays from other leagues as well. So first of all, in goal we've got Tom Heaton for Burnley in form, early 30k, and he's just mediocre to be honest. He's just an average goalkeeper. I was expecting to be better, but I, you can't really judge silver goalies this year because they can be either shit or amazing. And the centre backs are James Tompkins and Eric Dia Dia, how you want to pronounce it. These guys are alright, but they didn't have the pace. James Tompkins especially. <laughs> James Tonkins especially because he he's only got 64 pace but he's defending and I thought he didn't he didn't he couldn't track back like both of these defenders to be honest couldn't track back so that's the bad thing about them like defense in this team was the down point of this team there's pros and cons of both these of both this team and right back I left we got Kieran Trippier both very good both sweeper, sweeper their uh, fullbacks and just run up the pitch and cross and they've got good defending and they're good in attack as well which are good. Right mid we got our only player that's in a different league and that is Antonio. Very good. Last year I think KSI made a video about him. He's got amazing strength, decent pace, four star skills as well. He's an all round right mid, very good as well. And yeah, he got a goal for me. This team I, pl I like changed around a lot of people, especially the CDMs and attack. Because I just had, like, at first I didn't really like them, so I then started again. And then we got Jake Livermore. This guy was an all-rounder, like, fullback as well. He didn't really he didn't really uh, go up a lot, which is good, because that's what I want in the CDM. Average pace. Uh, he just reminded me of a Kadira, to be honest, really. It, it just a bit less shooting, and he would be, be like a silver Kadira. But, yeah, he was very good. Left mid, we got Scott Sinclair from Man City. Very good. No wonder he's 6K. He's got... Like, decent pace, decent dribbling, and amazing shot as well. Four-star skills, and he can cut in with that high, medium, work with him right foot. And he got a goal and assist point, which is very good. Cam, I changed this round with uh, Ravel Morrison and John Joe Shelby, but I've just uh, picked John Joe Shelby instead. Decent player. Apart from the two-star skill moves, I, was, I wanted to do some Ronaldo chops or something with him. Just now, that, that's the part I let him down. Decent physical. His pace could have been better as well, but apart from that, that was good. The best part about this team has got to be the strikers. Agbon Lahore and Danny Engs. Yes, I know, they're pacey. And I made pacey. But Agbon Lahore, in game, I think he's got 82 strength, which is ridiculous. And it's 80 physical, 73 dribbling, 90 pace, 74 shots. And Danny Ings as well, with 70 shot, 89 pace, and 73 dribbling. Both in team. I could have got Danny Ings as in form, but he was like 300k because someone price locked him, so I just left him. And both of these guys got uh, like loads of goals and assists. But I find the horse stands out the most. If you have the money for him, get him instantly. Any, I bet he's better than Storage or Rooney combined. He's just so good. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. I'm going to go straight into the highlights now. So remember to like, subscribe, and peace.